Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. As Nova Launcher is preparing for a version 7 update known as Nova 7, which is not live on Google Play Store as of now, I thought to share some new features that have been added in this newer version of Nova Launcher. So make sure you watch the video till the end and hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. First of all, let's talk about the greeting page. A Nova Launcher version 7 comes with a new greeting page and as you can see, it's very different from the previous version of Nova Launcher. If you have any previous backup file which Nova Launcher version 7 recommends to take before upgrading to version 7, you can directly restore it from here. You can also change the icon size, shape and you can also customize the desktop search bar and the dock icon placement. When you complete setting up the greetings page and come to the main home screen, there is a new layout for the long press action now. You can directly go to widget page after you long press on home screen and swiping up will take you to the install widgets. A new search button has been added on the top of this widget page where you can search for any particular widget. So if you tap on any widget here, let me tap this KWGT and that particular widget will pop up here. If you go to Nova Launcher settings and long press on this Nova settings menu on the top and a new settings menu will be added to these Nova Launcher settings known as labs. And if you open these uh, labs, you can see some experimental features are available here. Some of these experimental features are available in Nova Launcher version 6 as well. And if you want to disable these experimental features, you can go back and long press on this Nova settings menu again and these experimental features will be disabled. In Nova Launcher version 7, you will be able to customize this search menu also. If you go to Nova Launcher settings and go to this search menu, you will be able to change the corner radius. And a new option called as private keyboard has been added which will not save anything you type in this search menu. And you can also customize a desktop and drawer search bar separately now. So these are the new features that have been added in this search menu customization. In Nova Launcher version 7, some additional features have been added to this folder customization. If you open this folder section here, you can change the folder layout now. Uh, let me go to this folder appearance. Earlier you could display 4 icons in this layout. Now you can have 6 icons as a layout. And this outline feature has also been added here. This will create an outline on the folder you would be creating on your home screen. Some changes have been made in this integration page as well. A new feature has been added in uh, Nova Google Feed uh, where you can uh, restart the companion if it is not displaying properly on home screen. This was an issue with the earlier versions of uh, Nova Launcher where Google Feed was not displaying properly on home screen. I am very glad that they have added this feature here. If you go to Nova Launcher settings, and go to this look and feel and open this pop-up menu here. New features have been added here. Now you can have a pop-up menu similar to Android 12. As you can see Android 12 options here. You can also add save APK and hide option in your pop-up menu and you would be able to save the APK file and hide the application directly from this menu. If I go back here, there is an option called this disable animations. This is the new feature that has been added. Now you can disable the animations directly from this menu here. Now coming to gestures, if you open the gesture menu in Nova Launcher version 7, some small but effective features have been added here. The first one is a long press menu where you can add different applications or shortcuts to that gesture. I am not able to see that gesture menu here in this device but uh, that feature was available in my other device. The second feature that has been added here is this uh, haptic feedback swipe down feature. Now when you open the notification bar on your home screen, you can have this haptic feedback as well. Some modifications have been made in this night mode as well. If you go to this night mode, now you can configure the night mode for desktop and drawer search bar separately here. These were some of the main features that have been added in Nova Launcher version 7. I hope I did not miss any important features here. If I did, you can comment on the features that I missed. Apart from adding these new features, some features have been removed as well, which I suppose were least used by most of the users. If you want to try these new features now, you can head over to APK Mirror and download the APK file. I'll make sure to place a link in the description and you can check that out. So that's all for today's video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. And you can also join me on Telegram. Link will be in the video description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.